lateral cervical spine, first open up the image that you want to mark. Go up to the top here, there's an angle measurement. And you just click on the posterior element of C1 right here. Go to the front of it, click on the front of Come down and you'll be able to see the line is perfectly straight because it'll have kind of a, a kink in it if it's not. And then you just extend out to the left there. And it, in this case, it's a 29 degree APL line. Now go over to the bottom left to the slanted line here. Click on the posterior body, a C2. Follow it and trace it down so that the line runs through it. And extend it. Really all you need to do is this, except that the lines may not intersect. So you just extend it down arbitrarily just toward the bottom of the spine. You do the same at C7. This is C3, C4, 5, 6, and then C7. Go down to the back of the bottom one. And you're going to extend this one up instead to intersect like that. Go back up to the angle to it we just had on the APL. You hit, click where it intersects. Go to the bottom left. Go to the bottom right. So if the lines just overlap and you don't see them, that's a 42 degree curve. Um, this particular spine is looking to be almost perfect. Um, the next measurement, go up to the chiropractic tool. And you're going to just go down to the first option there, cervical curve. Click on the back of C7, just in the back here somewhere. And then go straight up to the top of the C-spine. The point of this line is just to show what an ideal curve should look like. And you do the same thing by making it red by uh, right-click to deactivate, left-click to reactivate the line, right-click to go again for the menu to come up. And then go down to change the annotation color like I just did there a second ago. And you can see this is a pretty good looking cervical spine and the curve um, is pretty parallel with what an ideal curve should look like.